Now, you've both done a million interviews and we all know exactly what you like on telly, but I wanted to find out what you like relaxing at home, because Bob, I know you've got three cats that you're very much in love with. Yeah, I'm very much in love with them, yeah, but they're Very beautiful. young cats. Yeah, they're only young cats and they've not aged at all since I injected them. I've actually, them. funnily enough, I've got a picture of one of the cats oh, here. Oh, nice is, one! It's it's a have, we got, um, oh, have we got a camera that can come anywhere now? Camera two. You threw that one over that? the bridge. Oh, that's right. Noodles, who's your favourite, isn't that's it? That's Noodles, yeah, nice one. Yeah. And there's, tell us about the what other ones. What are you wearing there? I'm wearing a smoking jacket. He's wearing a cat, in fact, isn't he? Yeah, it looks like yeah, it's also, it. But there's also Tina, isn't there? Who's Tina the, and, and you've got different characteristics. Tina's the model. Yeah. And I know you've actually bought Tina jewellery, you said, man. Yes, I have. And you, say po you do poems to him, don't you? Yes, I do. And I think you should do one for us now. No. The, the kind of poems you do This to is an outrage. <laughs> it is, but I think you should. Come on. I don't, know, I don't know any. You know You do Well, you must one. add lib poems to him when oh, you're at home. Uh, Tina, Tina, you beautiful cat. <laughs> I suppose because they're cats, they don't know that that's a crap well, poem, do they, really? Well, do, Noodles know, is obviously the first the time we met, Mark, you were, we were in Covent Garden, you were a silver, very silvery first, and you were doing some of that robotic <laughs> movement. <laughs> that's right, yeah. I really thought we saw you the way I was, you, were uh, selling, you were selling those little monkeys. I was on uh, the same patches, Mark, and you I was sat back and I had those little uh, furry worms that <laughs> jiggle around on the floor. Those were like. the days, and look at us now. Look at us look now. Look where we are now. Good Lord, please don't look at us now. But, uh, Vic, I've heard that you've also got a dog, Maggie, that you're very much in love with. Yes. And you've said you'd give up showbiz for Maggie? I would do, yes. On what conditions? Why would you give up? Would Maggie ever say to you, Vic, I want you at home a little bit more? She does regularly. You know, I've, uh, she's a little dog. Lovely little dog. Hello, Maggie. And she's got a little saddle that I uh, <laughs> put on. <laughs> and uh, I ride around regularly on it. So you both love animals, but on oh, some stockings, apparently. Yes. Someone's been... <laughs> no, I wear the stockings when I'm riding. Someone's been peeping Tom in on you, with you and your dog. Mm. You see, Vic owns a little uh, cemetery in uh, Lewisham, which is just for dogs that died at sea under one year old. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love there's, gin. Th there's only Maggie. Maggie's dead, you see. It's very sad. No, she's very much alive. She's very much alive. She may look dead. She's very much alive. A bit like you, you look like a bit of a cadaver tonight, but... Huh? No, I don't. <laughs> Shall I join in now? Yeah, please. Anyone? Oh, okay. Because um, also, you used to you used to be a pig farmer, and I heard that you used to castrate the baby pigs. How can you reconcile that with them? You're obviously a big animal lover. Yeah. It's tiny, yeah, I'm sorry well. about that. That's, what's the bad thing about that? That's a very nice thing to do if you don't. No, I did actually. No, the, the, uh, when I was 14, it was my first job, and it was the day that. Uh, Princess Anne got married. Oh, I, I remember out, that. And uh, that was my first. And uh, yes, my first job. So was it a commemorative castration for Princess Anne? Yeah. I think that's what if started only. it off. Yeah. Well, can you? We've actually got a model pig here. Can you show us exactly what you did? I, mean, I don't know who's uh, been designing these models, but uh, are we on that camera? Take a look at that. That's something to do with those cowboys. But what would you do with a pig? Show us how you, you would. Uh, you know, half the audience here has been brought up on pig. You know, you'd put it between your legs like this. Actually, that way around there, and uh, you'd pull out, pull the testes out, and uh, all the uh, cubs, and uh, pull out, slice them once, slice them twice, slice them thrice, and there you are. And uh, very, very nice. At the end of the day, have you got a big pile of spare pig's testes? You've, you've got, got nothing uh, there a with? bowl. That's you've got, got a feast. Uh, that's what you've got. So you've probably yeah, got yeah, a couple yeah, of sausage rolls there, well, haven't the you? Is, you've, got to keep, you've got to keep the, the uh, testicles, if I can call them them, away from the mother, the sow, because if she tests the balls, she'll <laughs> take them off the young pigs. You know, Why would she them. want to? Because they taste so Just delicious. to play with them. <laughs> Fascinating <laughs> as this mouth. is, we've got something else to go to. A little bit of gossip. Have you? Boys just want to have fun. Bad Boys Inc. are Take That's biggest rivals. Good looking, cool and clean cut. But what were they doing before they hit the charts? Well, Tony Dowding was once a well-known model. It's his chest gracing this commercial for Sulpadine. The power of Sulpadine is... Tony's fine physique is also shown in this ad for sex chat lines. And now he's turned up in this catalogue for fetish specialists. Expectations. Yes. And then, what the hell is going on there? And I think we'll probably leave that to your imagination. We've had Rick and Bob on the show so far and some great music, and there'll be a lot more. My guess later was on. it was an ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think possibly. Well, I've just got a fleeting glimpse. But it was a culture shock, though, from Rain Man to an ass. <laughs> And as you don't like Dustin Hoffman. I have Dave, asked. Dave, have you ever had any uh, ambitions to be a pop star? You've done anything else already. You're so young and yet you've done stage, screen, TV. Yeah, man, everyone wants to be a pop star. 
Either that or just cut pig balls off for him. <laughs> He's been both. The double whammy. Man, that double was amazing. Double. You would really cut the pigs. I was, yeah, I was very good at it. You'd hardly make that up, would you? You'd hardly think, I'm going on national TV. I'm going to show off a little bit what I used to do when I was a kid. <laughs> E-gas. That is disgusting. <laughs> Let's see what our new presenter thinks. Last time we spoke to Hufty, she was on her way to the West Hufty. Country. Hufty, yeah, that's her name. Sorry. That's why I said it. She was on her way to the West Country to... frightened, by the way. <laughs> she was on her way... Just jump in whenever you want there, Bob. She was on her way to the West Country to surprise an unsuspecting word punter, so let's go and see how she got on. Hiya, hiya, it's me again, Hufty, and I'm freezing me tits off here at this secret location, and I'm stone cold sober. And we're going to bring the word into the living room of a special teenager. How are we? Let's go on now. Are you right? How are we? We're in. Mrs. Snashel! Mrs. Snashel is there. Mrs. Snashel here. Hiya, you're live on Channel 4. Where's Jay? No, he's upstairs. He's upstairs. Come, come he's with upstairs. me. Come with me. Show me. How are we, Mrs. Snashel? Show me where it is. Where do I go? Where do I go? You come with me. You've got to come as well. Is this kind of camera? Jay! Don't tell Jay. Don't tell Jay. Where's Jay? in here watching, um, Blur, Carter. The word, the yes. Jay! No, he's not, he's gone. Oh, my God, he's not in here! Where is he? Where he might? There he is! Jay! Hi. Jay, hiya! Hi. You're live on Channel 4! I know, I just saw him dive in for my mum. It's quite scary. <laughs> Mrs. Snashel, come back! Jay, come over here. Come over here. I've gone oh, freezing. Heart. We've got to get warm. Uh, back to you, Mark! We'll see you later. We're having a champion team. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, Stella. What do you think of half the new presenter? I believe her to be Satan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that well, but uh, huh? I think you might not be far from right. We have videos of the Wicker Man. Mm. <laughs> I am a member of the Black Sabbath fan club. Yes. <laughs> anyway, there are some people who would do absolutely anything to be on TV. How did you first get onto TV? Anyway, that's enough of that. But there are people who watch the world who would do absolutely anything. And we're going to see a little clip of one of them now, and this will be a weekly series, apparently. <laughs> oh, my good Lord. Hey, totally right. That's, that's what this show has risen to. <laughs> That poor old woman, because I've met that bloke and he's a git. He used to come down, he used to, when we used to do Access All Areas, he used to come down and he would do anything at all to get on. What did you think of that? Well, that fella, are we on now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. of course I we're on. I thought it was on. I thought it was on. a break. No, yes, well, yes. Yeah, well, I mean, that was a controversial item, well, wasn't it? Well, we're going to raise the foul language. I don't know, the, 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 the elder mouth holds no fear for me. It's more the, uh, you know, the... The youthful early, tongue. Really. Yeah, she had a youthful tongue for an old. Do you have a tongue, person. Bob? Yes, I do have a tongue. I have a number of tongues. Well, over the next few weeks, we are going to have various hopefuls who will do anything to be on TV, and um, Danny's got some more details about that. That's right. You too could be one of the hopefuls. I mean, if you've got no shame whatsoever and would do anything to get on the telly, all you have to do is write into this address, and it's the hopefuls, which is PO Box two seven eight one London E fourteen. That's PO Box two seven eight one London E fourteen. <laughs> Now, watch out after the break for some rare early footage of Nick Berry. It's arresting stuff. Missing you already. And welcome back. Yes, uh, you know, and, even, and if you have been watching Rain Man, we might manage to lower the intellectual level. God, he just... He... Look at that, hey, the owners can queue up after. Can't have any of that on the show. Uh, still with us, of course, we have... Um, <laughs> Miss, Mr. Dave Chappelle, Vic and Bob. Hi, Tony. Yes. We have a Hi, Tony. I know, I know, actually, it is nice to see you. Again. To see you it's nice to see the photo of your cat. Lovely skin, Tony. Is it? Do you want to have a feel? <laughs> no, I'd rather not. I'll, I'll come and comb your hair for you later on. Listen, we're going to Land's End where uh, Cufty is with the guy who's won the word for tonight. Let's see how she's getting on. Cufty, pay attention, girl. Hiya, hiya, it's me again, Hufty, with Jay, the last teenager in Britain before America. So, Jay, who's your favourite band? My favourite, um, well, really, do Stone Sway, Carter, One Stuff, um, the lot, really. EMF, you know, all these indie kid things, I'm afraid. OK, long hair, lovely bob, gorgeous. Oh, so, if you. you'd like to look over here, Simon, see what we have in that corner. Look at all them. Them Newcastle bottles of brown ale under the dash there. Isn't that cost you a man after my own heart? Probably Nick from his father's pub. I dream of it, really. So, let's go and have a quick run into the front room and see what I'm the clock is. I'm behind you, let's go. Come on, Jay, let's go. 
I'm, suppo I'm supposed to say something now, but I think you're holding that really well there. I think, get, let's get in a bit closer, I think, you know, Bob here. This guy will never be out of work, will he? Listen, we're going to have a bit of gossip from Nick Berry, we'll see you in a bit. Is that it? <laughs>